hi guys welcome back to my channel and to another vlog so today is going to be a little different because today um it's our daughter's neurology appointment so today she sees the neurologist and i honestly have no idea what the neurologist is going to do i really don't this is going to be our first visit with the neurologist so we're both clueless my husband and i i am on my way now to pick him up from his job um, he's just gonna leave his car there because the hospital that we're going to is not too far from his job So we're just gonna leave his car there and then we're gonna head to have some lunch and then we'll be heading to um, Our daughter's appointment and she's back there you guys Just can't really see her. Let me take the camera out of here. Hi beautiful <laughs> You guys she loves to read so that's what she's doing right now. She's reading um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. And I think we're stopping at a store. I don't know if we're going to buy by baby because you guys know, I don't know if where you live, they're closing babies that us and toys that us, but here where we live in, um, they are closing it. And we're very sad because our daughter is not going to be able to grow up with toys. That but it's okay because there's still Target, which I love. It's like one of my favorite stores, but yeah, you guys, today I just have this Puma shirt on and then I have my ripped jeans that I love you guys are going to see me with these a lot because i just love them and then i got some vans on um but that's pretty much it and today is a beautiful day outside it's going to be like in the 70s which is perfect weather um not too hot not too cold we just ate chipotle and that's how she looks <laughs> but anyway she dirty her shirt it's so sad right you want to tell them you dirty your shirt here goes the hamster <laughs> Anyways, now we're gonna head to the hospital. Amor? Oh. Amor? You don't like butterflies. What happened? You don't like There's butterflies. Ooh. Huh? What is soft? Oh, done. Alright, guys. So, um, obviously, I, I wasn't able to um, film while I was at the appointment. Just because, you know, we had to talk about a lot of things. So, I didn't feel like being there with the camera. Like, oh, hello. Um, plus, a, a lot of hospitals don't allow you to just for personal reasons and, you know, safety and stuff. Um, but, yeah, pretty much it went well. Like, the neurologists do see, you know, what we're talking about as far as autism and stuff. But she also see good things, which is good. Um, so, yeah, right now, what we have to do is, like, a genetic testing and all that stuff. Um, just because they're trying to figure out where is it coming from, you know, because they don't really, doctors don't really have, how you say that? Like, they don't really have a resource, I guess, of where autism comes from or, like, how does it start? So, um, we're going to be doing that. I'm not sure when. She's going to give us a call to see if the insurance approves it, and we'll get it done, if it does, of course. Um, but, yeah, so we're trying to get her more services. So, because I had mentioned to you guys that the therapist, the speech therapist did say about um, occupational therapy. So, um, we are moving on to that. She's trying to get in contact with our case manager of early intervention so we can get that moving and we can get on it. So, the speech therapist just left. Um, so, yeah. So, Eliana's doing pretty good, which makes us happy. She's improving a lot, especially with the eye contact thing and all that good stuff. So, I'm getting ready to cook. I was supposed to go to worship practice tonight, but I'm not going to go because it's already, like, almost 6. So, I got to start cooking. And then I think I'm going to Michael's really quick because I got to get some arts and crafts stuff for my business. So, yeah, you guys. That's pretty much, like, the update as far as how the appointment went. But it went pretty well. Like, no, like, super bad news or super good news. It's just, like, neutral right now. Like, we're just still waiting. I also asked her if she can get us into the developmental pediatrician faster. You know, the people that actually do diagnose her with the autism spectrum. But she said it's going to be a little hard for her to do that. But she's going to try. She's going to try. So, let's just cross our fingers that we can also get that process in faster. All right, guys, so change of plans. So we, well, I'm not going to Michael's today. I'm just going to go tomorrow. Um, I just decided to stay home and just, you know, it's already, it's going to be 6.30. So I'm just going to go ahead and start cooking. I'm going to cook salmon with mashed potatoes today. I just feel, I'm craving it and I just want that. Um, another thing I did forget to mention to you guys about earlier was that while I was at the neurologist's office, 
um, another lady came in and I, she works in the area so like in the neurologist's office um, and I was telling her that I'm very concerned about you know our family trip to Arizona at the end of this month um, because like I just don't know how she's gonna act on the plane like it's very it's frustrating to even think about it because it's gonna be a six-hour flight to get to Phoenix and then from Phoenix we're gonna catch another flight for an extra other hour like another extra hour to Yuma Arizona which is where my sister-in-law is at so it's like it's frustrating to even think about it. So she's like, I can tell that you're anxious, you know, you're having anxiety from it because I can see your frustration. So she sees how frustrated I am because I'm like, like, I don't know. Do I just go to the airport and tell the flight attendant, like, you know, tell them that my daughter's autistic? Like, how does that even work? You know? And, you know, she said, yeah, if you have to, like, do what you got to do, you know, because I'm thinking in my head, you know, just, this is just me thinking as a mom. If my child, you know, is clearly in the spectrum and we can see that she might be autistic there's a high possibility that she is i'm not going to sit there and cross my hands if the airport can offer us some help so if i go my daughter is in the spectrum you know she's in the process of being diagnosed if that makes sense then what can you guys offer you know like anything whatever it is whether it is a special part in the plane that we can sit in so she can stay you know calm and stuff I don't know, this is six hours. I'm freaking out myself. I'm having anxiety myself just to think about the fact that I'm going to be in a plane for six hours. That freaks me out, period. So, honestly, I can see how my daughter will feel. So, um, the speech therapist just confirmed to me that, yeah, I could definitely say that. You know, that my daughter is in the process of um, being diagnosed with autism and that we see it. She does have a lot of um, early signs that she's showing. So, um... You know, and she said that they shouldn't ask for a medical record. They shouldn't ask for a medical a paper or whatever that indicates that my daughter is diagnosed with autism. Which is good because that's what I was scared of. For me to say, oh, my daughter's autistic. And then they're like, oh, well, where's your document? No. So, um, it's just, it's so much information, y'all. It's a lot. But I'm just glad that we're on it. My husband and I were on it. And he's been a great support. He don't, he's not really a camera person. So, he's not really on the vlogs as much. Um, I'm sure you guys noticed, but I'm just thankful that I have such a wonderful husband who really supports me, who really is on top of this um, process with me. You know, like I say, we're all in this together. This is a family thing and we have to support each other. And I'm thankful also for my family because I have a very supportive family. So I'm very thankful that my family is um, supporting us and it's, you know, just praying for us and i really appreciate that also i wanted to give a huge thank you to those of you who reached out to me last night and a special shout out to my girl ashley for reaching out to me and just saying a prayer for my little family um for our appointment today so i really appreciate you ashley so ooh, ooh, shout out for you girl um and any other of my friends you know who you are who've been through this process completely since day one you guys before i keep cooking let me just tell you something really it's funny and crazy at the same time because on our way back from our daughter's appointment, you know, we're rushing because the speech therapist was coming and stuff, so we have to be back at a certain time. And it was already 4 and we have to be back by 4.30. So then my husband falls asleep in the car, right? I'm driving and he's just there. Instead of staying awake, you know, he fell asleep. So anyway, he's asleep and then my daughter's sleeping too in the back while I'm driving and then I'm like, Oh my god, I start thinking and I'm like, babe, your car is at your job. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, like he gets really mad out of nowhere. And I'm like, it's okay. You know, I'll wake up in the morning and I'll take you to work. It's fine. And he's like, no, that's phony because then you got to wake the baby up because he leaves the house by 5.30. So I knew I'm going to have to be up by 5. Just leaving in my PJs, like, I'm going to just be half asleep. I don't even care. I'm going to just ride down and take him to work. And his job is, like, almost 30 minutes from our house, but it's okay. Our daughter usually be up pretty early, so that's fine. But I just thought it was so funny because I'm like, wow, like, we're in the middle. Like, we're really close to getting home, and I start remembering. But first of all, it wasn't my fault. Like, he had to remember. Not me. That's not my car. But it was crazy because, remember, I told you guys early on the vlog, like, I had to pick him up from his job because the hospital, and come to find out the hospital wasn't even that close, you know, where my daughter was having her appointment today, it wasn't even that close for his job. 
So he should have taken his car, but we didn't even know until we put it on the GPS and we're like, oh snap. It was literally 20 minutes from his job. So we thought it was like maybe like 10 minutes the most from his job, but no, it was like 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, so then that was a hot mess. Then we're like, oh, well, that's great. Um, so y'all already know what that means. Tomorrow morning, I gotta be up by five in the morning to take my husband to work. But it's okay. Oh, and by the way, his car is going to be secure. In case you're wondering, um, they're going to close the gate like where he works at. So they're going to lock it up and it's going to be perfectly fine. So it's not going to be like, oh, they're going to take something from his car or something. Or they're going to steal it. So we're good, y'all. But I just thought, I was like, I got to share with my YouTube fam because I just found that really like crazy i'm like oh my gosh but this is what happens when you're like in a rush and you're just like can we take things done Second time. this is why every time i want ice cream when i do want it it's gone because who eats it all the time you do and eliana's just mad can y'all believe this Vanilla ice cream, peanut butter. Disgusting. Oh. <laughs> All done, guys. I cooked. I ate. I love to have a clean kitchen after I'm done cooking. And don't mind these dishes. These are clean dishes as well, and so are those. I just gotta put them away.